Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, let us learn about stock transfer between two storage locations. We have seen stock transfer between two different plant codes. Today in this video, we can see the stock transfer between two different storage locations under same plant code. Generally, stock can be moved between two storage locations using stock transfer posting functionality in SAP. However, this business process would be used as and when there is a legal requirement such as available when the receiving location is away from the supplying location. Apart from that, this would be used to track the freight and other charges incurred during the shipment. Let us check the configuration now. Execute the transaction SPRO Material Management Purchasing Purchase Order set up stock transport order set up stock transfer between storage locations activate stock transfer between storage locations activate issuing storage location flag under set up stock transfer between storage locations click on configure delivery type and availability check procedure by storage location input purchasing document category f and press enter. Add new entries with the combination of PO type, supplying plant, issuing storage location, replenishment delivery and checking. For delivery and billing type configuration, you can refer the STO video that is available in the ABO iCard link. Under setup stock transfer between storage locations, click on define shipping data for stock transfer between storage locations. Select relevant plant codes and double click on storage locations. Input sales area and shipping plan for issuing storage location and customer code for receiving storage location. This customer code and sales area will be appeared when we input the issuing and receiving storage locations in PO document. We are done with the configuration, so let's try creating a STO PO. Execute the transaction ME21N, input supplying plant, ARG details, input material code, input supplying plant is receiving plant since the STO is made under same plant code but between two storage locations. As soon as these details are entered in PO, shipping tab will be visible with supplying sales area and shipping plant code and customer code. Generally, Customer code will be selected from shipping data of receiving plant. As soon as receiving storage location is entered, respective customer code will be picked up from the shipping data of receiving storage location. As soon as issuing storage location is entered, respective sales area will be picked up from the shipping data of supplying storage location. Save the PO document and create replenishment delivery using VL10B transaction. Once the replenishment delivery is created, perform picking and post goods issue. Execute VF01 and create proforma invoice with reference to delivery and use it for e-bill and other legal requirements. Now, let us check the stock in receiving storage location using MMBE transaction. As we can see, the stock lies it on order stock as this quantity is not yet received by the receiving storage location. For this, execute MIGO transaction and perform post goods receipt with reference to delivery document.
During goods issue and goods receipt, there won't be any accounting document unless we have any other charges incurred during the shipment. Let us check this track in receiving storage location using MMBE transaction. Now the stack is visible under unrestricted stack. So this is all about the stack transfer between storage locations. If you get any issues while you are testing this scenario, please do let us know in the comment section to help you further. Please do subscribe, like, share, comment. Thanks for watching this video. Shining off.